Hello Nikon users, my name is Vaughn. Welcome to my tutorial on the free software NX Studio. As you may already know, this free software is from Nikon. It is for Nikon camera users only. I personally have owned a D700, a D600, and a D800. Now I just own a D3100 for tutorials for beginners. I also own a D3 as a second camera and a Nikon Z6 II as my primary camera. All of these cameras work with the Nikon NX Studios software. In part one, I will show Nikon users how to tether their cameras to the NX Studio software. Please remember to hit that like button and leave a comment if you like what you see. The only way I can improve my videos is if you leave a comment and hit that like button. Now let's transfer those photos. Let's tether the camera. To turn on the camera. The camera automatically went to Nikon Transfer 2, which is part of the NX Studio suite. Next, we'll go to the source. Uh, as you can see, the source is the Nikon D3100. Next, let's uh, click the primary destination tab. Important tip, make sure that your primary destination folder is somewhere that you can get to that is recognizable. I can't tell you how many times when I first started that I would leave it in a folder like this and it would be buried under four folders like this one's buried under one, two, three folders, four folders. So uh, you can put it on your drive and put rename this and give it a brand new folder. You can browse and name your folder. You can put it on the desktop or you can just rename, give you give it a new folder. I would recommend that you can make a new folder on your drive to put your files so there you can easily get to them. Next, backup destination. You can also pick your backup destination. So if you're uh, transferring a lot of photos, then you want to make sure that you have a backup destination folder. Uh, professionals always keep duplicates. They keep backups. We always uh, have backups. We have two memory cards for that reason in our cameras. So let's go to the next tab, preference tab. Here you can add additional information. Yes, okay, you can add additional information. Copyright information, exhibition, wedding, you can add information. Today we're not gonna do that. All right, uh, also you wanna make sure that you click transfer new files only so that way if you don't format your uh, memory card afterwards uh, that you always when you download uh, you don't have the same files duplicated over and over also right here it has synchronized camera date and time to computer when camera is connected uh, you always want to synchronize your camera and your computer because uh, what happens is if your camera sits idle then it loses time and sometimes you have to reset it if the battery uh, dies. Uh, you can do here if you have a camera with two card slots, you can check the box and switch it over to the second slot after transfer so that way it uh, gets both slots. Uh, in this box, you can disconnect it automatically after transfer, delete original files after transfer, which I always leave unchecked because in case uh, Windows has an issue or your Mac system has an issue, you just want to make sure that you can go back and try to recover it. Uh, in this box, you can uh, pick the open destination folder. Uh, when the following application after transfer so this way when you open this uh, application after the transfer it'll automatically open NX Studio so that's very important you pick that 
and not Explorer because otherwise if you pick Explorer when you open NX Studio then you'll have to go into uh, NX Studio and, and open the file from the from that window so let's start the transfer as you can see uh, let's go over the files the NEF or raw files the JPG or JPG file JPEGs so that's what the file names are so let's start the transfer so I already have the file transfer is complete without using the tether method you can also take out the memory card and put it in a card reader and just open it in NX Studio that's what most of the professionals do so uh, let's go to Nikon D3100 and open those files and uh, they're located in the DCIM folder so let's open that and there we go we have photos and as you can see there are different types of photos a JPG a NEF and you can edit all those in NX Studio I will show you how to edit those with a basic edit in part two of this video suite thank you for watching if you like what you saw, please subscribe.